Hey everybody, Pastor Jimmy here. Today, our lesson is gonna take us into all four of the Gospels in the Bible. All four of the, the Gospels that tell about Jesus' life, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And all four of those books of the Bible tell about the same event that happened in Jesus' life. Today, you guys are gonna be learning about Jesus' baptism. It's such an awesome story and such an important story for us because it is a way that reminds us that Jesus died on the cross, that he was buried, but that he's not dead anymore, that he's raised from the dead and he's not dead anymore. It reminds us of that. But it's also a way that we can follow Jesus' example and that we can tell other people that we love Jesus and we follow Jesus. So being baptized is, is an important step in our lives as Christians. So how many of you guys have been baptized? Okay. Well, maybe some of you guys are working on being baptized. Some of you guys are not quite there yet. Maybe you're, you're still trying to figure out what you're thinking. This is a card from when I was baptized. Inside, it tells me details about the day that I was baptized. I was baptized on February 14th, 1993. It was Valentine's Day, which is a pretty special day to get baptized on, I think. Uh, but it was a day that I remember, and I remember getting baptized there uh, with Pastor White at a church in Indiana, in a small town called Elkhart, Indiana. That's where I spent some time as a kid. And so I was baptized there. That was when I told everybody that I love Jesus and I want to follow him all the days of my life. And so I have this certificate, this card that reminds me of that. So today you guys are going to be learning about Jesus and how he was baptized by his cousin John, John the Baptist. Now this is not the same John that wrote some of the books of the Bible or the other one that wrote some of the books of the Bible. There's lots of Johns in the Bible. This is John the Baptist. It was Jesus's cousin, and he baptized Jesus. You guys can watch the videos and see how that played out and how all of this happened. But it was an important time where Jesus showed that he followed what God wanted him to do. He listened to God and he obeyed God. Uh, Jesus came to earth to rescue us. He came to earth and he came to be a human just like us so that he could be without sin and so that he could take the punishment for our sin. And so today, some of you guys have made the decision that you want to follow Jesus and that you want to tell other people that you love him and that you want to follow him all the days of your life. And so your next step is going to be to get baptized. So Zeke, why don't you come on over here? This is my son, Ezekiel, and he is ready to be baptized. He hasn't been baptized yet, but he's gone forward at church and told everybody that he loves Jesus. Can you give a wave? And he is ready to be baptized. And so if you guys decide you want to be baptized too, we have these books at the church. It's called I'm a Christian Now. Zeke's got his, and you guys can get one too. But it's a way that you can work through what it means to be a Christian and what it means to follow God and to, and to follow Jesus. And so if you are ready to be baptized whenever we get to meet again, or if you are ready to tell everybody that you're a Christian, you can have your mom and dad email me. My email is jimmy, J-I-M-M-Y, at fbcsa.org. So it's a special time and a special day. So I'm praying for you guys as you go through this lesson this week. I'm praying for you as you learn about how Jesus was baptized. It is such an awesome time and an awesome story for you to learn. I can't wait for us to meet again. I'm praying for you. I miss all of you guys and can't wait to see you guys in the hallways of First Baptist Church again. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.